for patients who get first line platinum based therapy and then get on evolumab maintenance and progress then we have several options available uh, and fortumab vedantin was approved as standard of care for patients with metastatic or advanced urothelial cancer who have had a prior platinum and immunotherapy so that would be an excellent option and based on the next generation sequencing if patients have fgfr3 mutations they can also get erdofitinib which is an oral fgfr3 inhibitor so these options um, are still available for patients who progress after evolumab maintenance again the choice of therapy after progression of metastatic urothelial cancer again in the setting of evolumab maintenance um, this is a great question to which I don't think we have really great answers for, uh, but we may recall in the setting of first-line chemotherapy, let's say, and in the previous paradigm that we had, we wait until progression and then use checkpoint inhibitors in second-line therapy. Um, we have certain drugs that we could go to. So if a patient does have a targetable mutation or alterations, for instance, like FGFR, then we can use erdofitinib, you know, we, which is already approved for that setting. Um, another drug that we can go to is infortumab. And in fact, infortumab is FDA approved um, specific, specifically for that setting, you know, for patients who have failed prior chemotherapy as well as immunotherapy. I think in terms of the sequencing, a lot of uh, people will go to either available in Fortumab or, or erdofitinib. Now, in patients who have had great response to chemotherapy, so remember, the patients who went on to Javelin Bladder 100 were patients who achieved CR, PR, or stable disease. So I tend to potentially also recycle. Um, and if that was ever an option, if the patients are really good, uh, having good performance status, and it's been about a year since they got the first chemotherapy, that may still be an option, especially if there's no good clinical trial options for them to avail of after failing you know, all these targeted therapies and, and fortumab. Erdofitinib is a small molecule inhibitor for patients with FGFR alterations. Very promising drug, and it's in fact uh, approved by the FDA specifically for these patients. Now, I would say it applies only to a minority of patients who test positive for the FGFR alterations. And that number is easily about maybe 20% of patients with advanced urothelial carcinoma a little higher perhaps in those who have upper tract urothelial carcinomas up to about maybe 40%. Now the basis of the FDA approval was actually a small study, an open label phase two trial run by the BLC 2001 study group, and they enrolled about 99 patients. Now the primary endpoint was objective responses, which they met. Um, and the rate of confirmed response to erdofitinib was a striking 40%, you know? So, and there were like complete responses, about 3%, um, 37% had PRs. So it is a very promising and, and really useful uh, drug to use, especially for those, and only for those who have FGFR alterations. So this is not everyone either, you know, but, um, and this is really the basis and the rationale for testing and testing early uh, on for genomic sequencing for patients with metastatic bladder cancer.